What the f- Hey, welcome to Zach's Tech Turf. I promise I'll explain what that intro was all about here soon. It was actually a very legitimate point of this review, but anyway, today we're gonna be checking out the Contour Uni Mouse, which is a super adjustable ergonomic vertical mouse, and the best part is, I'll be giving it away. Details about that are at the end of the video, but for now, let's get into it. So you guys all know how I love reviewing ergonomic products on this channel, as I actually do pay attention to the ergonomics of my setup, especially when I spend hours and hours at my desk. I already fully reviewed Anchor's budget vertical mouse and explained why vertical mice are awesome, so today I'll just quickly recap it. Basically why these vertical mice are awesome is because they allow your wrist and your hand to rest at a natural position. If you put your arms here at your side and you're sitting here at your desk and you raise your arms up 90 degrees, chances are, unless if you're super weird or something, that your hands came up at this handshake position, and this is not the normal position like most computer mice force you to do. By using a traditional mouse, you're forced forcing your wrist to constantly be rotated and strained, and this is what causes carpal tunnel syndrome and other wrist issues. Now with all that explained, let's talk about why this mouse specifically isn't just a great option over a traditional mouse, but why this is one of the best vertical mice right now. The number one key feature about this uni mouse is easily the four points of adjustment. You can easily adjust exactly the angle of the entire mouse, which is perfect for someone that's never used one of these before, because there's definitely a learning curve when getting used to these. What's also adjustable is the thumb rest as you can move it in and out for a wider or narrow grip, you can move it front or back depending on your hand and thumb size, and you can also tilt it depending on how wide or narrow you want your grip to be. As someone who has tried budget vertical mice before, I can't possibly explain how important these adjustments are. If you're just getting into budget vertical mice and they don't have any adjustments whatsoever, chances are you're not going to really like the angle of it and there's nothing you can do about it. Moving on to the buttons, there are six programmable buttons including the thumb forward and back buttons, as well as a third middle button at the top which acts as a double click function, it's pretty cool. The scroll wheel up there is notched and feels pretty solid, and below that is a DPI adjustment button. By pressing this button you are scrolling through 10 different DPI settings all the way from 800 to 2800. At any DPI setting, this mouse actually tracks super smoothly. I was genuinely impressed by how smooth the tracking is, especially given the weight of this mouse, which is definitely my second biggest complaint. I'm not a huge fan of how lightweight this mouse is, and I definitely wish they added some options weights to truly make this thing adjustable. I don't like how easily I can shift the weight and lift it off the desk, and I also don't like how plasticky it feels. This mouse costs $90 for a wired version and $110 for the wireless, and honestly, it doesn't feel anywhere close to that in terms of the actual physical touch to it. Now, I will give Contour some credit as the actual hinge and the ball joint for the adjustments, they ain't going anywhere, they are definitely pretty solid, but everything else on the mouse just feels super cheap. Moving on, I do really like the size of the uni mouse because it definitely caters to big hands and lanky fingers like I have. Here you can see that it's way bigger than my personal favorite, the Logitech MX Master 2S, and being able to fully adjust it allows me to have full control of how my hand rests and I love it. Finally, the battery that's included in the wireless version is a 470 milliamp hour battery which takes about 2 hours to charge and can last up to 3 months depending on how much you actually use it, and yes, you can charge it in the wired mode so you never have any downtime. Alright, so before getting into the giveaway part of this video, I want to quickly address my number one biggest complaint about this mouse, and that's the color. It's not black. If you go on the Contour website and look at the product page, the color of this mouse is definitely black. Look at all these images here with them clearly showing that it's a black design and not this bluish grayish color that we're actually seeing. There's also no color options when purchasing it and if you look at other YouTubers reviews, theirs isn't black either. The picture on the physical box that the mouse comes in is also definitely black which is just so bizarre because that's not what the mouse actually looks like. What I'm trying to say is that if I spent my own money on this mouse or even when Contour asked me to review it, the main reason why I said yes it was because I thought it was black and I thought it would go super well with my red and black setup but it just doesn't. This purplish mouse looks crazy in my setup and I would have been very upset if I paid for this thinking that it was black and I ended up getting this. So some of you probably don't think that that's a big deal. I just wanted to let you guys know why I personally don't want the mouse and why I'm giving it away. It obviously has some killer features to it and it's actually a great mouse. 
So for the giveaway, all you guys have to do is like the video and drop a comment down below about anything regarding the color of the mouse. I'll randomly let one of you guys know that you won the mouse in a week from now, so just be sure to check your YouTube notifications so that we can get in contact with each other. Well, that wraps up my review of the Contour Uni Mouse. Huge thank you to Contour for sending this over for a review. Like I said, it's actually a very solid product with some great features, but Contour, you really, really need to update your pictures on both the box and your website. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please drop a like down below to help support my channel. Also down there is a link to zaxtechturf.com so you can buy a baller t-shirt like this. And as always, thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more Zax Tech Turf videos.